An important part of JavaScript is being able to asynchronously execute code. For instance, when a network request goes out, you may want to do something with the response, but while you're waiting for that to come back, you'd still like the rest of your program to continue to execute and function. Similarly, we may write code that takes advantage of things like set timeout and set interval to inject a little bit of a delay or cadence to how our code runs. This delay function is a great example of that. Given some number of milliseconds and a function, we can hold off for that number of milliseconds and then execute the function. Now, I'd like to be able to test a function like this. Fortunately, Jess makes it fairly easy to do testing of timing-based JavaScript functions. By the way, my name is Josh Branshaw. Make sure to subscribe to get more videos like this on web development and JavaScript. Now let's take a look at a test that I've put together. Here we import our delay function, and then we mock out some function that we'll call. We run the delay function with a 200 millisecond timeout, and then we expect do something to have been called. That seems pretty straightforward. Let's do yarn test and see how it goes. So that failed, and we can see here that the reason it failed is because do something didn't get called. We expected it to get called once, but it was called zero times. And the reason that happened is because this line nine here executed and failed before this delay had a chance to trigger the do something function. So what we need here is a way for our expectation to be able to run after this specified amount of time has passed. The first thing that might jump into your mind is maybe we can do some sort of sleep. Well, unfortunately, JavaScript doesn't cleanly support any type of functionality like that. And furthermore, putting any sort of like sleeps or delays inside of our testing code is going to slow down our broader test suite. So we want to avoid doing that if we can. Similarly, if we were to wrap this line in some sort of uh, asynchronous call, like a call to delay itself, so on and so forth, we would just end up deferring that to an asynchronous action, which again, wouldn't get called in time for the test to finish running, in which case we'd have sort of a no-op test that would just go as a false green. So let's back out of that. What we want to do is pull in some helpers that Jest offers. Jest comes with some utilities for faking out the timers that are used in a situation like this in, in a JavaScript test. So what I first need to do is tell Jest to enable fake timers for this particular test file. So I will go ahead and do that with the Jest use fake timers function call. And now anywhere within my test blocks, I can inject calls like advance timers by time and say give it 200 milliseconds. And if I save that, I'll see my test pass. Of course, if I were to say something like 150 milliseconds, we'd be back in a similar situation where we were without the, time, the mocked timers with the expectation getting called before the delay has a chance to trigger the do something. If your code involves multiple set timeouts or if you're using set interval, you can use multiple calls to advance timers by time throughout a given test block. 